and welcome to the Cardinal Sports Complex for CTN's live coverage of boys high school soccer. It's the final week of the regular season as the Cardinals host the Maple Grove Crimson. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro up above the action and Howie, a great test for the Cardinals late in the year against one of the best in the state. No question about it, Joe. And you know, I think the neutralizer here for Coon Rapids is the grass field. Maple Grove plays on turf and I think that's something that slows down that offense. So if the Cardinals are going to have an opportunity, they're going to have to play tight and they're going to have to limit their opportunities and when they do get the opportunities they're going to have to connect. Well the fact that the it is not only a grass field but it rained for nearly 24 hours up until midday today uh, that should make it even that much slower. It has turned into a beautiful afternoon. The sun is out. There are your starting lineups downing Clune the forwards for the Crimson Jack Gleckler, Riley Gill, Will Zaber and Antonio Magadan are the midfielders. Why Dorholt, Karen, and Robinson, the defenders, Matt Hennessy, the goalkeeper. For the Cardinals, Andrew LePage in that Haida, Negret, Mensa, Simmons Mensa, I should say, and Alex Lynch are the defenders. Sidney Achi, Amir Begich, Moise Madimba, and Ethan Mosier are in the midfield. And then you have Koji up front along with Gael Tomboy. So Cardinals coming off a 3-1 loss to, to Maple Grove on... No, Duluth East. Or Duluth East on Saturday. And another team that is is ranked very highly. Yeah, Coach uh, Coach Paco said we really played well. It really wasn't a 3-1 game. We had a couple of uh, miscues, but they played them really tight, and they feel that they could do the same thing here to Maple Grove, just keep it close and, and really minimize their attack because they are very offensive-minded. A number of changes to the lineup recently for the Cardinals. Just trying to mix some pieces up, see if they can spark a little more production. Well, they want to find something here because it's uh, just a couple of game before, games before section start. Crimson haven't had many touches. Brody Karen waiting to throw it in from in front of their own bench. You know, and, and talking to their head coach, Greg, Len Greg Leninger, you know, they have to adjust to playing on this grass. They've actually, this is the third game in a row on grass. So they've had the opportunity to get a little play in on this on this type of surface. Bouncing around in a dangerous spot. Begich able to clear it up the wing for Sidney Achi. On the run, he's got Barron right with him. Tapping it ahead, trying to get it to Tomboy. Turned around by Caleb Robinson. And here come the Crimson back through the midfield. Riley Gill trying to split a couple of defenders. Had it kicked away by Mosier. Baggage comes up with control, trying to get it ahead for Koji, who comes back for it. Koji trying to work through a couple of defenders, but cleared away by Karen again. Far side, Madimba able to turn around, beat one man, move it along. Pass didn't quite clinch. Begich had it stolen by Will Zaver. Zaver. Oh. Tripped up there by Thomas Mena. And that will give Maple Grove a free kick from a very dangerous spot early in this contest. Yeah, these aren't the kind of things you want to give up here if you're Coon Rapids. You don't want Maple Grove to get these kind of opportunities. And, and uh, yeah, I think that wasn't, obviously, it wasn't intentional. But he did get tangled up in his feet, and it's gonna, they're going to call it every time. Gleckler is lined up directly behind the ball. He'll run on, play it to the near side for Magadin, trying to cross back out front. Broken up by Mosier and chased into the corner, where it will go out for the throw in. Left-footed opportunity, didn't make it through to the net. Cleared away on the far side by Mena. 
And Tomboy gets it back near midfield. Baggage had a touch momentarily, and Jack Dorholt has it now for Maple Grove, plays it back to Connor Barrett. Brody Karen. <laughs> you saw, you know, you, we talked about Mosier, and he's uh, moving up a little bit to midfield. They want to use some of his uh, defensive ability up, up a little closer to try and prevent that, uh, that surge behind the midfielders. Koji can't get around the edge, poked away by Gleckler on the far side. Little push there, and that'll get the Cardinals an opportunity with the free kick, and it's Mosier's pursuit. Or no, it's Medimba, rather. You just see him get elbowed off the ball by Magadan. Magadan called. Boot gone to the back corner. Tomboy got a header on it, but not the angle he wanted. I think key Joe for Coon Rapids is just to to try and keep it out of their their zone as as much as possible, but they want to find a way to. I, th I think they really find, want to find a way to score first here, put a little pressure on Maple Grove. Doorhole table to win a 50-50 ball there. His long pass was broken up momentarily by Negret. Recovering for Maple Grove was Kloon, but his pass cross field was taken away by Achi. Tackled along the sideline, and he's the one that is going to be called for the foul. Throw in, stopped up. Achi turns it around. Gleckler back the other way. That was stopped by Medimba. Got past Tomboy. Gleckler in control for Maple Grove. Let it get too far away, and Medimba bodied him off the ball, and it's out of bounds to the Cardinals. Really not, uh, not much offense here early on for either squad. Baggage in the middle of three black jerseys. A little support from Mosier as he tried to sneak it ahead to Koji, but that's broken up. Baggage there to break up that pass. And we'll bring it back for Jared Haida. Lynch running on the near side. Tipped away out of bounds in front of him by Alex Downing. Cardinal throwing near midfield. Maple Grove winners are five of their last six games. Their loss came uh, last week to Totino Grace, a two to one defeat. Their only loss their, of the their year. Their only loss of the year. They tied Spring Lake Park at two and, and uh, Park, at Park Center, no score tie. Good patience by Kloon, lays it out in front of Zaver. His cross too far in front of Magadan. He'll chase into the corner. There with him is Medimba. Turns to the baseline. Medimba able to body him off the ball, but good support there from Kloon to win it back for Maple Grove and now out of bounds on the far side. And a crimson throw in. Now Mosher just deposited out of, out of bounds. Reset that defense. Good smart play. Header back to the far side. Kloon stopped up there by Mena. Medimba takes over and comes away with the ball. Pass too far for Koji. Overrun by Tomboy, who slipped a bit. Maple Grove plays it back in deep. Stopped up by Lynch. Mosier had a head on it. Tomboy comes back to help get possession back for the Cardinals, and they swing it near side to Jared Haida. Haida had the slide tackle out of bounds by Alex Downing. Last touch by the Cardinals. You know, Maple Grove going to try and put a little pressure down here in the Cardinal end. There you see it. The collision and the ball going off Coon Rapids. High off the head of Kloon. Battled for Haida trying to keep it in bounds, trying to play it out off of Downing. Downing comes away with it and plays it back for Karen. Karen to the back post. That was stopped up by Henna. This one comes through where LePage can get to it and scoop it up right in front of Jeff Kloon. It kind of weakly went through the middle, and, and unfortunately for Maple Grove, they weren't able to get anybody to put a foot on the ball. And 
LePage did a nice job of just coming up, being aggressive, and making sure he got a hold of it. That one misjudged a little bit, got over Lynch, but not sure if they called it offside. I think he actually yeah. grabbed onto Lynch a little bit. Either way, a foul against Maple Grove, a free kick for Coon Rapids. In the 10th minute of play, no score. Really only one shot attempted. That one by Coon Rapids off a free kick. They headed it well wide. Crimson working it through midfield, turning with it is Gill. Far side for Magadan, chased by Madimba. Able to get around the corner. Good support there by Negret to break it up. Force the play back to the corner where the Cardinals have the two on one. They do poke it out of bounds and it'll be Maple Grove throwing. As you talked about uh, Maple Grove looking for, for their offense here as we played uh, a little, right at the, we played right at 10 minutes now. Cross out front, broken up by Henna, stopped up by Dorhol for Maple Grove, got it in behind the defense. Big save by LePage, point blank against Kloon. Now that was uh, that was a big job, a good job by LePage to come up and make that save because there was a couple of black jerseys right there. And Kloon, the leading scorer from this club, got a, he got a foot on it, able to clear it away. He had help, Riley Gill was right there as well. Kloon leads this club with nine goals on the season. Karen, the throw in. Headed toward the end line and out. It'll be a goal kick for the Cardinals. Uh, defensively, Cardinals just want to keep Maple Grove wide. They've been doing that so far here early on. Except for the one breakdown Except that the one, led yep. to two guys yep. in on. Oh, it's going to be a corner. I thought that oh, went, thought off went off the, the header of Zaver, I but did as well. Corner kick to the back post. Headed away by Medimba. Initially, Gill ends up with it, trying to work his way back out of the corner. Medimba able to secure possession for the Cardinals. Tried to play it out off of Gill. Ends up on the foot of Dorhol. Played out front. Achi can't get it too far away, but Koji able to poke it past another defender and on the run, trying to find a way around Zaver. I think he may have gotten a... Poked in the eye, maybe? Yeah, a finger yep. to the eye, it looked like. No call. A little bit of a breeze here, but really a nice evening. Yeah, considering rain. the last 24 to 36 hours. <laughs> Nothing but rain. Back near midfield, Koji plays it back to Medimba. Medimba move it across midfield, but a nice stretch by Dorholt to break up the pass. Haida broke that one up, but oh. right into the back of the Cardinal net, trying to defend the pass, and instead it's an own goal, and Maple Grove is up one to nothing. Well, LePage had come out of his net, you know, rightfully so, but uh, not much he could do about getting to that ball. Just a, a tough break for Coon Rapids. Goal will go credited to Riley Gill. Gill was trying to move it to Downing, crashing the right wing. That's, that's Gill's first goal of the year. He'll take it. Yeah, he'll take it no matter where. It's in the back of the net. Doesn't matter how it got there. Cardinals fall behind one nothing. And you knew as soon as it came off Haida's foot. Oh, it was going in. There was no chance no. for LePage. It was 15 foot high when it went past the point on the field where yeah. the keeper was. And it was directed straight into the net. Nothing they could do. Now the Cardinals just have to try and regroup, see if they can't put a little pressure on at the other end.
Can you have two shots on goal when you've only attempted one shot? Hmm. I'm assuming that in soccer it is the scored the same as it is in hockey. I would think so. That it becomes a shot on net because it ended up in the back, in the back of, the, of net, the net, even correct. though it was not a shot. Oh, we found a ball boy. Oh, nice. Midfield. Did Brandon? Six foot seven, wearing Cardinal apparel. Oh, goes oh by, I see. Okay. Goes by the title activities director, Kurt Walright. Always oh, coming through. Uh -oh. I thought Brandon Rickert was doing double duty. <laughs> He's good. He's not that good. Another free kick opportunity here for Maple Grove. In close enough that they could be creative. The last chance they had, they decided to pass, and then the shot blocked by a swarming Coon Rapids defense. Magadan is lined up toward the sidelines behind the ball, and he'll be there alone. Trying to poke it to the back corner, headed away by Henna, settled down by Mosier. And played along. Koji can't get to it before it's turned back in by Brody Karen. Too far, well too far for Jeff Clune. And LePage will handle it and now boot it away. Cardinals really yet to put much of a pressure into the Maple Grove end. Well, they haven't had much possession no. time either, especially over the last few minutes. There's Coach, uh, Kurt Walrath. Yep. That was girls head coach Carl Worley there uh, next to him. Lynch stops it up, gets it turned back upfield. Mosier moving it along, trying to get it to Medimba. Broken up and played out of bounds by Gleckler. This one's going to go against Coon Rapids as Caleb Robinson hit the deck. Coach Leninger, he, he told me, he said, the, the one thing different about this year's squad, last year they they had a, a player that was a prolific goal scorer. This year they're getting contributions from a number of different players, and he really likes the balance that this team has achieved so far this season. And obviously in the record, it shows that they've, that they've played pretty well. That one got past Lynch, but he's able to keep Clune to the outside, give LePage plenty of opportunity to scoop it up. Didn't get what he wanted on that one. Fortunately, settled by Haida, but his clear attempt went off of the crashing Crimson player. Alex Downing then had an opportunity, but Haida able to come back, recover, and get the steal in deep. Well, he was in on the ball, but he... Uh... The ball got in his way, and he actually fell to the turf. Otherwise, he would have had an opportunity to go in on net. Hyde challenging Downing along the sidelines. Got some help from Achi. Came away with it, and then was body checked by Will Zaver. Drawing the whistle. You see the collision there. Xaver boot headed to the sidelines by Haida. Dorhol stops up as he runs into a little bit of traffic. Baggage had it momentarily. Achi along the sidelines for Koji. Koji trying to get past Karen. Karen able to poke it away out of bounds. Now you, you talked about Coach Worley had an opportunity to talk to him a little bit before the game. He came up to the booth because he had a change in, in his starter. And, and, uh, 
He's uh, I, I, it's an interesting program the way uh, that he's he's trying to teach the, the girls something a little bit different than Coach DJ did over the years, but uh, some of the same as well. But you know they're uh, they're starting to buy into things. He feels he has their best formation. We'll find out a little bit more later tonight. <laughs> Katoya Caliste into the game and now on the roster. You don't have to call him Sweetness any longer? I, we can still call we him can. Sweetness. Yes, we can. Out of respect. But we're, now we know who to actually call him by name. And it's a great name. It is. I'm a big fan of alliteration. Yeah. Katoya Caliste. Love to do it with mine, but there's not a whole Jody lot. Of, there's not a lot of good first names that start with Y. You know, so when I was getting ready to be a father, you know, we considered Yule, Yule Yund. Yeah. You know, that's about it. What else do you have that Jackson? starts with Y? What about Jackson for a J? Jackson Yund. Jackson Yund. That was presidential. That's not alliteration. No, I know. But You're killing me, Smalls. Never mind. Back to the game. Another foul, this one from out near midfield. But it will allow Maple Grove to keep that ball in the Cardinal end. At least momentarily, Negret quickly got it back for Negret, or for uh, Tomboy. Tried to get Achi streaking upfield, but turned around by Maple Grove. Haida went way up to get that one headed out of bounds. Just halfway through this first half, Maple Grove holding the 1-0 lead on a own goal. Went off the car uh, Cardinal into the net. Karen plays it to the middle. Mosier there for the Cardinals. Dorhold heads it right back in the direction of Zaver, who's cutting to the middle. Gets past baggage, poked away by Callisti. Gill to the far side, broken up by Medimba. Gill gets it back. Chased by Mosier. We'll play it into the corner. Magadin trying to get there, but not in time. And now a goal kick for the Cardinals. Yeah, he tried to try to feed him inside, but a little bit too much on that. Went past the line. Negret waiting and now plays it ahead. Weigel knocks it down with the header. Kloon trying to split a couple of defenders. Got some speed attacking from the corner. There to sweep it up was Alex Lynch. Achi battling for it now, trying to get away from Weigel. There to help is Gill. Achi pit plays it along, but stopped up and cleared by the back line of defense for Maple Grove. Caleb Robinson. Now Magadin right back on the attack into the corner. Gets past Medimba. Jukes Henna gets it laid out out front. Kloon needs some help. Lays it back. That shot blocked up by Lynch. Dorholt can't get to it. Zaver has it, though, for the Crimson. Trying to work the left around the left side. Poked away by Medimba. And Medimba has a little bit of space to carry. Threatened by Weigel. Poked along by Begich. Back to Medimba it comes. Pass went off of Achi. I don't think that's what knocked him to the turf, but who knows? That might have had a <laughs> lot more. Off guard. Made have had a lot more on it than I thought. Tomboy trying to get turned around, tipped away out of bounds by Gleckler. Cardinal throw in near midfield. Crimson have a couple of guys waiting to get into the game. They've, they've uh, been doing a pretty good job of controlling it down the Cardinals end here so far. Baggage. Near side, Callisti, long run. First one there is Barron. Karen able to play it out of bounds. Nice hustle out of I was noticing AD that. slash ball boy. <laughs> Kurt Walrath. He's doing a nice job down there. I just like to give credit where credit is due. Clearing attempt comes to Lynch. 
He'll keep it in the Maple Grove end. Mosier into the middle for Callisti. Achi trying to get it back to the near side. Broken up by Maple Grove and played back out near midfield. Vinip will run up onto it. Chase Vinip stopped up there by Henna. Mosier's pass was broken up by Gill. Haida can't get it past Zaver. Dorholt will turn it around for Maple Grove. Plays it to the side. There's nobody there, and it'll go out of bounds. And Cardinals will have a throw it. Kunaps is trying to look for some sort of continuity offensively. They haven't been able to do much. Height is throwing, trapped by Tomboy along the sideline. Thought he had played it off the Maple Grove player, but not the ruling from the official. And three substitutions as Sawyer or uh, Matt Rada comes in along with Josh Mactimus. And Alex Downing is back in the action for the Crimson as well. Rada far side, Achi over to challenge. Rada able to keep it, just a freshman. Clears to the back post, the pass got away from Maximus. Downing trying to get it back to him. Battling with Haida along the <laughs> sideline. And it's a tough place to take a foul. Yeah, they're gonna call, call a Haida. Yeah, they definitely were tangled up. See it again, just uh, fighting for to keep that ball in. And uh, Heidi's going to get a little little physical. Both both took him to the turf. I think they kind of effectively took one another they to did, the turf, but, but Downing but went Downing down went, first. Yes, and, and you're going to always get called. If you're the first one down, the, the person who's second is usually going to get called. Gleckler. Header right on that, but LePage played it well and makes the save. Yeah, yeah, a nice setup, too, to get that opportunity of the, for the header, but you're right, LePage right there. Achi tried to leave it out in front of Begich. There's a foul and a Cardinal free kick near midfield. Yeah, look at the cross coming. Beautiful setup. Then LePage right there. Tracked it well, and Gill denied. <laughs> Kalisti trying to settle, and a very aggressive uh, Hennessy, Matt Hennessy. Yeah, he came way out. He had to make sure he won that battle. Oh, yeah. If, if Kalisti's able to get one more touch on that yep. ball, he's in big trouble. Yep. And this very well could be a tie game, but that's not how it worked out. Hennessy able to get on top of it. And Crimson able to play it back down to the other end. LePage will scoop it up in front of Chase Vinup. And he will boot it away. Vinup challenging and winning the ball to the corner. One on one against Henna. Passes. Broken up by Mosier. Achi can't get to it and keep it away from Weigel. Gill with it now for Maple Grove. Plays it back for Rada. Rada working against Mosier near side for Mactimus. Tried a little give and go, but out of bounds and a Cardinal throw it. Takach in for Coon Rapids. Dimitri Katach. Takach. Takach. Say it with me. T T Koch. Not K Toch. T Koch. T Koch. There you go. That's you what got I said. it. That's our linguistics lesson for today. Look at Chase Vinup in there between a couple of defenders and the keeper. Got a header on it, directed it toward the net, but just wide. And fortunately for the Cardinals, because if that's uh, angled just a little bit more, I think LePage probably would have stopped it then, but. Nonetheless, sets up another corner opportunity. Last oh, they time. say the Cardinals did touch yeah, it. And they're going to give them a corner. Great opportunity off the free kick last time. Now from the corner, 
Mag it into the back post, a little too much on it, and it will go out, and now it will be a goal kick. No harm, no foul. Will Zaver in for Maple Grove. Zaver with it now along the sidelines. Callisti in to break it up. Battling there with both he and Downing. Ends up out of bounds. Maple Grove quickly throw into Downing. Height of challenges. Downing goes down but gets back up and touches it once. Zaver able to recontrol. Back to help out is Tomboy. Cardinals play it to the middle. Karen there to break it up for Maple Grove. Madimba had it momentarily and then pushed out of bounds on the far side by Dakota Weigel. Well, Cardinals, they certainly just like to keep it at this 1-0 pace. See if they can uh, put a little pressure on their own. They, they can ill afford to give up a second goal here. Magadin with a lot of time in the corner, trying to work his way around Henna and just lost the control, so it'll be a Cardinal goal kick. Yeah, frustrated with himself. Max Mueller and Matt Mueller into the game. A pair of twins, I'm assuming, not only because they are similar in stature and size, but they're both seniors. They would think so. Would make sense. Could be cousins. <laughs> Could just, be. I'm just it, saying. It, it, it's possible. It's, you can't rule that out. But yes, the likely scenario would be twins. And the Mueller's are on the field for the Crimson. <laughs> Just in case anyone was wondering. And this is Matt Mueller battling and pressuring on that side. Gives it back to Max. Shot from a very short angle and a relatively easy save for Andrew LePage. Beggage coming back to recover for Coon Rapids. Nine minutes remaining in this first half. Crimson on the board, courtesy of a Coon Rapids own goal in the 13th minute. Crossing pass, breakup attempt by the defender deflected into the net, and that's the only score we have so far. Yeah, and the Crimson had a great opportunity on a header, but LePage came up with a save. Other than that, the uh, Cardinals looking for some pressure here. Well, they have yet to put a shot yep. on goal. Really, their only shot attempted was a, a header off of a free kick. Lynch will play it back to his keeper, who just oh. barely missed Matt Mueller, who was charging. Played along the near side, and Callisti plays it out off of Karen. Yeah, that was a little closer than uh, uh, yeah they're probably comfortable with comfortable yeah hey look red's Too here close for comfort that's the saying i was looking for max mueller gets the steal and a little miscommunication as he left that for Tikachi. he thought i think that zaver was going to sprint around the cardinal defender baggage with it Trying to get around Zaver, keep control. It's a pretty big body check there for Zaver, and that'll get him the whistle. Now you see it. I wonder if he's a hockey player, because that was a good solid check. Good check. check. Yep. Kept his elbow in, led with his sh shoulder and his hip. Perfectly done. Good boot from Lynch, but turned away by a Maple Grove defender as header. Alex Lynch back to chase it down. Pressured again by Mueller from behind and didn't put a lot on that pass back to the keeper. LePage had to come outside the box to get it. 
Lynch now working through midfield ahead for Mosier. Left it back for Lynch. Lynch is pressured by Zaver, and Zaver grabbed on. Oh, there no, they're going to call Lynch. Lynch grabbed on. Yeah. Ten yards, repeat second down. Yeah. Second and ten. Gleckler boots it right down the middle. Mueller behind the defense, turns and scores. That's Matt Mueller putting Maple Grove up two to nothing. Yeah, just put a little bit, uh, just put a little bit of, uh, a little bit of English on it, got past LePage. You can see it here again. Mueller able to just kept backing it, it up, past. worked it, timed it perfectly, trapped it with his chest, turned and shot, not a lot on it, but LePage charging. Mueller. And now the Cardinals uh, in a bit deeper hole and again need to try and bounce back. That's Unfortunate bounce early. Yeah. And that one just, you can't let a guy get that open opportunity. Nope. That's uh, Matt Mueller's second, third goal of the season. Matt or Max? It was Matt. Matt. It was okay. Matt. Okay. Just wanted to make sure you were clear on that. We're not talking Ammon. <laughs> yes, and we'll talk more about that on Friday. Football. We'll wait till Friday. Game, we'll keep but... everyone in suspense. <laughs> Your hometown broadcasters known to make mistakes time to time, including yeah. This year. Calling. Uh, I thought we were going to be a surprise. A young man by his older brother's name. Yep. But when they sound so close, Matt it's, and Max, it's yeah, tough. It's tough. It is tough. At least I didn't call him Amber. I thought you were going to save that one. I'm going to. I'm going to use it again. <laughs> There's a good chance that the audience we have Friday night for the football game will be larger. Yes. And, and include many who have not seen this that would, broadcast. That would, be, that would be correct. I can use that joke over and over again. Can use I mean, it at swimming. Why don't you use it at swimming? If it comes up, if well, we have, I can bring it up. I, <laughs> if we I have a mat, that. if we have a mat and a max, it might naturally work itself in. Yeah, but Matt and Max, the it's twin girls terrors. Swimming. It's girls swimming, so <laughs> so it's highly yeah. unlikely. We could have a max. Yeah, you know, they could. I've, there are women. Maxine. But, yeah, Maxine. Sure. sure. Yeah, not Matt. You've never, I've ne I don't I've believe not, I've, I've ever never. met a female Matt. Work on Matilda could be shortened to Maddie. I know but Maddie's. Max. Max Tilda? <laughs> Probably not. Well, you know, if you had so twins that were Maxine and Matilda, right? Matt and Max, right? Yeah, Matilda's real popular <laughs> name. <laughs> As is Maxine. Uh, that. Shot was way off target and a goal kick for the Cardinals. It's a good thing we should get back to soccer. This time it will be taken by Alex Lynch. Under four minutes remaining in this opening half. Cardinals looking to see if they can get something going before well, they, the break. They need to spend some time down well, there. Hennessy's pretty yeah. lonely. Yeah. His only action was uh, coming out to smother the ball in front of Callisti, who was inside the box. But uh, no shots on goal for the Cardinals. And after that first couple of minutes where both teams kind of feeling one another out, they really haven't spent much time nope. on the positive side of midfield. Koch trying to work his way around Dorholt. Dorholt staying with it. Taps it free. Swung on and missed by Weigler, who's... Weigel and trips up Gael Tomboy. And the Cardinals will have a free kick. And look at it as Tomboy was tripped up. Here's Lynch on the free kick. Right at the net and coming out and grabbing it in front of a crowd of Cardinals. 
is Maple Grove keeper Matt Hennessy. That will be the shot, first shot on goal for the Cardinals in this contest. Yeah, the first time Hennessy really had to do something to uh, make sure he saved him, make it made a save. One will spin out of bounds off Kieran right near midfield. Inside of two minutes remaining in this opening quarter, Maple Grove a two goal lead. Push from behind. Easy to call yep. as Maximus forcing Callisti off the ball. This one will be handled by Mohamed Jasenik. A little too far for the Cardinals to get to, and it's played easily by Hennessy, well wide of the net. Into the 40th and final minute of this first half. Oh, the, the Cardinals just got to make sure they don't give everything up here before the break. Shot didn't have much on it, but nope. it did get through to LePage. He scoops it up, waits for traffic to clear, and now boots it away. Magadan will push it right back deep into the Cardinal end, out of bounds. But at this point, your Maple Grove, you're just fine keeping it at their end, out of bounds. Let the time run out. Go to the locker room up too. Yeah, they got to be uh, feel pretty good about that in, the, in this situation. And really, they have controlled this first half. Magadin right into the middle of the field, trying to tap it behind, and Rada couldn't get to it. And scooped up by LePage. Yeah, they were trying to get that third goal before the end. LePage will just be uh, fine to let the clock run out. And the Cardinals will uh, have a lot to talk about in the locker room. They've got to get some things figured out in order to try and challenge the Crimson a little more in the second half. We'll take a break, be back with first half stats and highlights after this. You're watching Live Boys High School Soccer on CTN. I see you mobbing over her. Let's go. Let's mob. Let's crawl. Let's crawl. Let's crawl. Hey, yo, we mobbing. Come on, girl. Let's crawl. Hey, yo, let's crawl. Hey, yo, let's crawl. Hey, let's crawl. Hey, yo, let's crawl. I'm a single mother and I was the main one working, so I never thought that I could go back to school, you know. My sister, my mother, everybody wanted to help me with my kids. I could not have gotten my diploma without my family. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Back at the Cardinal Sports Complex, Maple Grove a 2-0 lead over Coon Rapids as we reach halftime of this boys' high school soccer match. And how he, uh, you know, Coon Rapids, decent position in the first few minutes, but once Maple Grove got going, they really didn't share the ball at all. Uh, they did get some good opportunities, but the one that counted, that started the scoring, a past defense that eluded the keeper and then off a free kick. A nice job getting into the right spot for Matt Mueller. Turns and scores. Cardinals an opportunity off of the free kick, but a good job by Hennessy coming out and challenging and taking that one away. Yeah, and there you take a look at what the, the stats were in that first half, and it really was all Maple Grove. They controlled the, the really the action for the majority of that first half. A couple of goals, one own goal, one, uh, one goal later, a little later on. 2-0 at the half. The Cardinals have some work to do in the second half. 
they have quite a bit of work to do. And number one is just to find a way to um, a way to get a little bit more possession down on the sidelines. And joining us now is head coach Mark Paco Marzalek. And coach, uh, what did you tell the boys at halftime? Just told them that we need to play like we did against Duluth East. Um, Maple Grove is a very good team. Um, they're doing everything that we expected them to do, but we're just not playing at the intensity level that we were against Duluth East. Duluth East is a absolute amazing team that we played the other day, and we played them very, very tough, and we're just not playing at that level right now, and we need to pick it up in the second half. What do you need to do? Get a little more pressure down in their end. I mean, there was uh, very little of it there in the first half for you guys. Well, our work ethic, um, we were not moving up as fast as a unit as we normally do. We were very lackadaisical in our, in our pushing up. We were more complacent with just letting them win the ball and then pushing it right back at us. We need to dictate more of that pressure, and we need to win a few more 50-50 balls in the middle of the field, which we weren't doing in the first half. All right, well, thanks for joining us. Good luck in the Absolutely second gentlemen. half. Thank you. We will take another break, and we will be back with the start of the second half. You're watching Boys High School Soccer live on CTN. How can I help my daughter with her reading? Searching for help with Dachshund reading. No. <laughs> Let me try. Sarah's bright, but when she's reading, she has trouble sounding out words. Playing world music. What? I give up. Wait, I was trying to show you how Sarah feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. Join parents and experts at understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues to help your child thrive. Back at the Coon Rapids Sports Complex. On the edge of our seats as we yes. await the second half of this Northwest Suburban Conference showdown. So far, it's been dictated by Maple Grove, as it Coach has. Marzalek talked about. He wants to get out there and, and pick the tempo up a little bit and put a little more pressure on the visitor than they were able to do in the first one benefit, they now have the wind and the sun at their backs. And the Crimson will be trying to go into both for the second half. Now, and the Cardinals, they're going to have to start strong here. They're, they're in a bit of a hole, and this is a, not a, not, it's a tough team to be in a bit of a hole against. Played along the near side. Maganin will get onto it for Maple Grove. Hachi able to reach in and take it away. Get it ahead for Koji. Koji looking for some support, trying to get around Weigel. His pass broken up by Dorholt. And Dorholt will play it back out of bounds along the near side in front of Negret. Mosier able to push it back upfield and now play it all the way back by Robinson. Hennessy outside the top of the 18 yard box. Able to get it back near midfield. Gill battles there with Alex Lynch, who pokes it near side for Sidney Achi. Pass too far for Tomboy. Turned around by Robinson. Stopped up. Achi trying to get around Weigel. Weigel holding his ground along the near sideline. Achi gets it to Tomboy. Tomboy can't get turned around. Now cleared upfield by Robinson. You know, Coach Leninger said that the first thing we're going to do is uh, keep a close eye on. Gael and, and that's what most teams do as well. He's their leading scorer and let some other players see if they can if they can get past him. Just mark him tightly and not and limit any kind of opportunity he's going to get. So far they did have done a nice job in the first half, just all around. That pass well behind in front of any Maple Grove attacker. No chance to get to it. LePage a good boot. Tomboy. Oh, he was held. Yeah, he was asking for the for the whistle. It didn't come, and now the he looked back to the main ref like, are you kidding me? Because he probably would have run right past Absolutely. all three Absolutely. defenders and onto that ball. Yeah. So actually, it's a good so penalty to take. Yeah, not a terrible one. No. But it is from a spot where the Cardinals could do something. Four-man wall for Maple Grove. Tomboy will put it right over him, right on goal, and Hennessy smothers it. And Tomboy's just going to 
get it past that wall, but relatively easy shot for Hennessy to bring in. Tom Boyd turns it back around, high bounce. Koji trying to pressure, but Hennessy comes out and controls. Cardinal throwing in the Maple Grove end of the field. Played out of bounds in the far corner by T. John Simmons Mensa. Throwing comes off at her in on LePage and he scoops it up. Yeah, pretty easy shot for LePage. Cardinals know they have to make some adjustments here in the second half. Paco, Coach Paco talked about what they needed, what he felt they needed to do. Well, it does look like they put Lynch back up yep. into the midfield to try and put a little more offensive pressure on. So both Mosier and Lynch playing midfield now. Baggage up there as well. That one out off of him and a throw in for the Crimson. Clune controls along the sidelines trying to get around Simmons Mensa. And then pass to Alex Lynch comes free. Simmons Mensa and his pass doesn't click with Begich out of bounds. Dorholt stepping in the way of that pass. Koji back to challenge. Dorholt able to get around the corner, find a little bit of space, poking it back to the near side. It's cleared away by Negret. Stopped up here by Weigel. Back to the far side. Clune coming back for it. Challenged by Begich, but able to come away with it from Maple Grove. Gets a shot off, but it's high and out of play. A goal kick, Coon Rapids. Right into the uh, Coon Rapids girls who are getting ready to play here afterwards. You see an opportunity just up and over the net. Page's goal kick stopped up near midfield by Magadan, headed down by Simmons Mensa. Comes back to Kloon. Men, Men, Simmons Mensa He's got it back to mid <laughs> midfield. Here's Ethan Mosier settling, and he's pressured by Dorholt. Plays it back for Henna. And near side now for Negret. Magadan there providing the pressure for Maple Grove. Good support coming over, but out of bounds to the Cardinals. Clune is going to be called for the foul. Just trying to hold off Ethan Mosier, but extended the arm and put him to the ground. And Can't do that. Typically, the referee will see that one. LePage slips on the goal kick, didn't get a lot on it, and came right to Negret. But then it's taken away by Downing. Downing trying to get it back to Clune, headed it along, stopped up now by Simmons Mensa and played back near midfield, where it's headed along by Caleb Robinson. Right back to Clune they go. He's got help with Gill in the corner. Gill working against Simmons Mensa, who's able to poke it free. Gill will recover in the corner. Gill for Maple Grove trying to dangle a little bit. Simmons Mensa tips it free. Lynch to Begich. 
ahead for Koji. His pass stopped up. And now it's Ethan Mosier for the Cardinals. And Sidney Achi on the run. Can't get it through, trying to give Gael something he can run onto, but it was broken up out of play by Weigel. Yeah, that's, they'd certainly like to spring Gael and, and see if he can get an opportunity to be, get loose in front. He's got three shadows out he there, does. and only one of them it is his. created by the setting sun. That is correct. So, as you mentioned earlier, that's a big part of the Maple Grove game plan is don't give him any opportunities. That means wherever he goes, he's got someone in his back Marked pocket. Marked closely, no question about it, and you know, and rightly so because he is Coon Rapids' most dangerous player. Clune working back the other way against Simmons Mensa there to help out is Henna. Henna able to tip it away, but it's going to go out the end line and a corner kick for. Maple Grove, you definitely don't want to give a team with this much talent a lot of set play opportunities. No, especially trailing 2 nothing. The partial sellout almost close, maybe. Partial sellout here at the complex. Baggage moving into Lynch. Lynch long through ball over the top of Gael Tomboy. Weigel there to defend, but Tomboy lost it out of bounds. <laughs> Maggot and Gill both touched it with headers and here comes Downing across midfield, trying to get Kloon behind the defense. Had to stop up to catch that pass. Haida is uh, pressuring, and Kloon called for another pushing penalty. Yeah, a little much too, little much, too much pressure, easy for me to say. You can see it here, Kloon just trying to gain possession of the ball and just pushed Haida from behind. Simon Mensa with a good boot. Doorhold first one to get up and headed out of bounds for Maple Grove. A little more than 10 minutes into this second half. Koji couldn't handle it along the near sidelines. A throw in for the Crimson. Another throw in for Magadin. Into the corner, Kloon runs on. Went out of, off of Downing. Simmons Benson got it ahead for Achi. And now Alex Lynch turns, has a little bit of space to the far side for Almir Begich. His pass deflected, Koji waiting for it, trying to come back and now gets it. And Carroll able to poke it out of bounds in front of him. Karen. Brody Karen. Brody Karen. Said his name about eight different <laughs> ways incorrectly <laughs> tonight, but uh, more often than not, I have gotten it right. Marin, Karen, Carroll. Merrill. I haven't gone there yet, but that's. Well, I just put it in your head. So oh, we still got close to another half hour gameplay. Yeah, absolutely could happen. Lynch crosses it out front. Negret has a little bit of space, gets his head up. Here comes the pressure from Downing, tried to move it along for Mosier, but that was stopped up by Dorhol. Cardinals on the back end, trying to settle and set up. Henna back for Lynch. Clune coming to pressure from behind. Henna back into the middle for Mosier. Ahead, Koji tried to get up and over, let that ball go through. Able to regain possession, play it back to Negret at midfield. Into the middle, broke it up by Weigel, and now Dorholt with it for Maple Grove. To Magadin, couldn't control the pass along the near sideline, and a Cardinal throw in. Yeah, he was frustrated, just uh, couldn't keep it on his foot. Cardinals uh, 
trying to put this pressure on here. Get that their first goal of the game. Negret trying to thread the needle, put the pass through the legs of Magadan to get it to Achi along the sideline. Didn't quite work out that way. Crimson able to regain possession, get it into the Cardinal end. Mosier down and slow to get up behind the play now as Maple Grove mounts the attack. Downing on the far side, leaves it for Zaver. Zaver crossing. Magadan can't get up high enough for the header. And it will end up out of bounds on the near side. And Cardinal throw it. Yeah, good thought. Just a little bit too much on that. Tabway can't keep it in along the sidelines. Now Maple Grove throw it. Achi run over there by Downing. Comes back to, to help him up. That's, you talk about things not being intentional. No. Certainly not intentional. It's just the way it ended up. Get sportsmanship to lend him a hand back to his feet. Matt and Max Mueller, yep, the Mueller to come back in. The Twin Terrors yes, the twin up top terrors. for <laughs> the Maple Grove Crimson. Here they come. I love the shades, too. No, they're not shades. I love the glasses. Their glasses. The specs. Yep. They remind me a lot of the old school Rex Specs. You, I'm sure, remember Rex Specs. I do remember Rex Specs. Anyone under the age of 30, probably not so much. Kurt Rambis, Rex Specs. Yep. Magadan taking his time and now throwing it in too high for Max and headed away by the Cardinals. Karen got it back in. That pass didn't quite work out, but Baggage able to come back and recover. Baggage trying to slide it through. It stopped up, turned around by Jack Kleckler. Header by Gill. Haida went way up to get ahead on that. That one went off of Max Mueller, and Achi able to control back to Haida. His pass upfield stopped up by Weigel. Pass is just wide for Max Mueller. Out of bounds, Cardinal throw it. Uh, still, still plenty of time here left in this contest, but the uh, the Cardinals need to to try and get on the board here. You don't want to certainly give Maple Grove any any chances either, but you have to find a way to put the the ball in the back of the net. Well, and the Crimson very aggressive when they don't have the ball. You better be watching your back if you're in possession because chances are better that they might. There's another oh. one, and this time it's Max set up by Matt. Told you they were the twin terrors, yep. and it's a three-goal lead. Yeah, nice, just uh, beautiful pass inside. And Max slides in for the, the goal. You see it again, just uh, Matt Mueller with a nice little dish. You're going to see right to his brother and coming in on the slide, getting the goal past LePage. Makes it 3-0 Maple Grove, and that's a, that's a tough goal to give up. And now you're in a really deep hole with a little less than 23 minutes, a little less than 24 minutes left. Well, and a very good Maple Grove team, as yep. I was just talking about. They're very aggressive when they don't have the ball. That's why they end up getting the ball back and having so much possession time. And when they have the ball, they, they're pretty good. Yep, they are. Pretty good with it. Working it around, and as you talked about, Coach Leninger kind of likes his team a little bit more this year because they don't have that superstar up top. Right. And they do get contributions from a few more rostered players. And here they are, uh, you know, obviously Cardinals still have time here, but uh, they got to start chipping away pretty quick at least getting pressure down there no question 
But uh, they're looking at, at a possible 11th win of the season if they can hold on here tonight. Lynch leaves it for Henna on the far sideline. Henna cutting back to the middle and then lost the handle back to Max. Max moves it along. Zaver from a long way out. That's up and over and out of play. Yeah, a little bit uh, too much. And he had uh, he had Matt Mueller coming in on the goal, but and he was calling for it, but couldn't get him uh, couldn't give him the opportunity. Mosher coming back, trying to gain control for the Cardinals off the goal kick. Henna moves it along. Baggage turns along the sideline. Took a little shove, but stays in control. He's momentarily now out of bounds off of Maple Grove. But you're right, Maple Grove, when they don't have it, have the ball, do a great job of getting to it. Lynch sneaking behind the defense, had to try and settle it. Hennessy comes out and grabs hold of it before he can get his shot off. Yeah, again, being aggressive. See coming in, and, and it was really a good through pass, and he just couldn't control it. And Hennessy comes out and makes sure he falls on it. I was just wondering how much contact there was there from Caleb Robinson, who came by. Well, six of Maple Grove's win, Joe, are by shutout. Pretty good, uh, pretty good percentage. It's pretty good defense. Yeah, and they have they have kept the Cardinals from really having any good scoring chances. Only two shots on goal through almost 60 minutes of soccer. Cardinals get a free kick on a foul for, by the Crimson. Simmons Mensa will set it up for the Cardinals. He's got a good boot and he's got the wind at his back. Tomboy tried to settle and turn with it. Karen there to break it up. Matt came back, got it ahead to Max. His pass didn't click. Achi will turn around for the Cardinals. Mosier trying to get past Gill. Gets it to Begich. Begich's pass was broken up, but he gets it right back and then rolls that one in slowly on Hennessy. And Hennessy will scoop it up easily. Battle for position there between Magadan and Achi. Achi will be the one to get whistled. Free kick for Maple Grove from right near midfield. Yeah. Collision there, a little push. Jack Gleckler puts a good boot in it toward the back post. LePage comes out and grabs it. Looked like Max Mueller, or Matt, Matt Mueller rather, may have taken an elbow to the back of the head as the keeper came out to secure it. Gill at midfield, moves it along for Zaver. Sliding to get it out of play was Henna. Thomas Mena has had a nice game. Yeah, uh, you get a few more substitutions in for Maple Grove with a 3 0 lead, 18 24 remaining. Mueller twins coming out of the game. Drew Tozer and Sean Schindler both have a on goal. the field. Two 
returning shot by Tozer is up and over and out of play. Goal kick, Coon Rapids. LePage's boot headed down by Schindler. Achi able to win possession along the near sideline, but then ran into a bunch of black jerseys. And the Crimson able to regain control. Dorhold tapping it along for Magadan, swept away from him by Negret. Dorhold trying to get through some traffic, broken up by Haida and turned around. Koji pressuring along the sideline and it's out of bounds off the Cardinals. Time is ticking away. Now trailing by three. Carlson, really, their offense, they started out a little bit in that first half, as you mentioned, and, and really again in the second half, but really have since have not been able to mount much. Lynch plays it back. Negret along the sidelines. Achi trying to turn, broken up by Magadan. Weigel will clear back upfield for Maple Grove. Simmons Mensa steps in the way. Here's Mena. Ahead for Begich. Begich trying to get around Karen and can't knock the way out of bounds. And a Cardinal throw in. Mena will get it back. Tried to slide it over to Mosier, but that was broken up. Baggage pressures come comes away with the ball. Tomboy pokes it to the corner. Koji can't keep it in bounds. Mena back to midfield. Alex Lynch looking for support, waiting for some help. Back to Simmons Benson, near side for Negret. Negret along for Achi, tried to tap it along to Lynch, who was on the run. The pass will be behind him. Got tied up, ends out of bounds off of Coon Rapids. Cameron Barber into the game now for Maple Grove. So we're down under 15 minutes remaining. Another throw in from in front of the Coon Rapids bench now. And even deeper downfield as it goes out off of Negret. And again, Maple Grove, they're so, they've got a lot of quick athletes and they really get to the ball quickly. And that's what they've been doing here all evening long, just beating Coon Rapids opportunities to get to the ball. And that is why they've been able to control this contest. Yeah, good team speed. And uh, really, they, they pressure you all game long. Yep. And when they do get possession, they turn up field quickly as a group. Free kick for the Cardinal, or for the Crimson, rather. Gleckler. Bounces it off yeah. the official. I don't think that was his initial intent. <laughs> Tomway plays it back to Lynch. So Begich overran it a little bit. They had to come back. Tangles up there with Winkleman. And the foul will go against the Crimson. Now you see the time remaining, 13-20 in this contest. Maple Grove with that 3-0 lead. Well, the Cardinals have really not threatened at all this evening. A 
Long boot from Simmons Mensa. Headed away by Gleckler. Mosier battling between a couple of Crimson defenders. Weigel now able to clear it away for Maple Grove. Simmons Mensa able to take Schindler off the ball, get it turned around for the Cardinals. Lynch to Mosier. Back to Lynch. Lynch for Begich. Begich trying to work between a couple of defenders and now on the run along with Zaver on that far sideline. Played out of uh, bounds. It'll be Cardinal throwing. This is a good opportunity now for the Cardinals to see if they can make something happen. They'd love to just get on the board. Tomboy the throw in. Headed away by Gleckler. Mena got there first. But Winkleman was able to stay with it and get it back upfield for the Crimson. Negret. Couldn't slip it past Barber, who works with it down the near sideline. Back into the middle. Oh. Coming out and scooping it up is LePage, is Drew Tozer. Had an opportunity coming in and let it get it just a little bit too far away from him. Yeah, Le LePage picked it up just in front of Tozer's opportunity. She, he's just going to come out and grab that ball before Tozer could get an opportunity to get a shot off. Cross to the back post. Page comes out and takes it. Lynch can't filter that one through. But then gets the take back from Winkleman. Back for Mena, ahead for Begich. Mosier just on his side of midfield gets it ahead for Sidney Achi. Achi gets around Weigel. Weigel stays with it and plays it out of bounds. Played back out of bounds by Caleb Robinson. Another throw in for the Cardinals. Well, this defense from Maple Grove does a really nice job of just taking away any kind of opportunity you want to build on. Hennessy uh, came out to play it. It got away from him, but a defender there to clear it away. Another throw in chance for the Cardinals. Matt Wickland checking in for the Cardinals. Along with Maple Grove's Thomas Bailey. Yeah, getting getting a few extra bodies in here as this game. This will be the Cardinals' first down. corner kick. Begich plays it out. That went off some hands, off some bodies, and out of play. Another corner kick coming up from the other side. Caleb Robinson a little slow to get up. Grabbing the back of his head. Maybe went noggin to noggin with somebody. Yeah, I mean, that, that's smart. Just get him out at this point. How people, you always worry about concussions. Riley Gill back in for the Crimson. It's good to see the referee make that decision and there's another yeah. look at it. Yeah, he was yeah. going back on the header and back of his head right into the forehead of Gael Tomboy. Off the corner kick, bounces around, comes Back out to Wicklin. His pass skipped away from Mena. Begich can't get around a defender and keep possession. Played back out on the far side. I mean, they just get to the ball so quickly. 
Yep, and their girls team, a similar record. Yep. Coming in with 11 wins on the season, just two losses. And uh, they will be a lot for the girls team to handle. This one bouncing around. Cardinals trying to get on the board. Baggage tips it back out front. An opportunity for Tomboy, and now the whistles blow. Offside. Say offside. Yeah. <laughs> They just uh, able to get a foot and get it away from Hennessy, but they they did call the offsides. I didn't think anybody was over the blue line. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. We got a little we got a little ways to go, Joe, before uh, the, at least the high school hockey season yes. starts. NHL starts this week. Yes, it does. Oh, Coach. What? He was shoulder to shoulder with him after the ball got there. Not confused. Well, that's both. Of the, well, that's all, most of the time, but you're used to, definitely in, in, all, in everything you do in life. Correct. <laughs> it's definitely the last two offside calls. I'm a little confused about, but Maple Grove foul right near midfield, and the Mosier will just. Move it to Wickland quickly, and instead they'll move it back because that was too far upfield. So let's try it again. Shall we? Yeah, I think Simmons Mensa is going to put a little something more into it. Under seven remaining. Headed away by the Maple Grove defense. Simmons Mensa followed it up, had it momentarily. Taken away by Bailey and Maple Grove going the other way. Haida steps in and breaks that one up. Had Schindler charging behind him. Cardinals able to get it turned around. Here's Dorholt. A bit too much. And behind Barber. And out of bounds. Winkleman, far side, crossing to the middle, headed away by Haida. Barber comes onto it. Get it back to Winkleman on the far side. Left back and a long shot. And LePage goes out and scoops it up. Dorholt settling, plays it to Weigel along the sideline. Wicklin tracking it down, will play it out of bounds as he had Tozer right there pressuring. Yeah, Tozer with a little bit of speed coming up on that ball as well. Had no, no other decision than to push it across the line. The Mueller's are back. The Twin Terrors. Yeah. yeah. Dynamic duo. I like the Twin Terrors better. It's Isaac Learham. Getting some action late in the game. Got around a defender and near midfield played back out of bounds by Maple Grove. Not knocked out of bounds by Maple Grove. Able to turn it around. Simmons Mensa stops it up at the back end of the Cardinal defense. And again, Karen playing it back into the Cardinal zone. Gill ahead for Winkleman. Winkleman trying to cross. Broken up by Simmons Mensa. Still loose, a shot and a goal. 
for Cameron Barber. Yeah, Barber just really just turned and fired. And got that pass, LePage. Which will give the Crimson a 4-0 lead. Again, they continue to work at it, and they, and they work, continue to work it inside, and those things pay off. Matt, Matt Mueller with a header to Barber, and he just turned and fired. And if there was any question before, it's not so much anymore. Uh, no. Now the Cardinals, you know, just for pride's sake, should be, you know, they've got to fight, they've got to get something positive to take away from this game here. Not a lot positive that they, uh, they'll take away from tonight. No, they're going to fall to uh, six, eight, and two on this. I mean, five, eight, and two on the season. As you mentioned, Maple Grove will get their 11th win of the year. Jasenik boots it to the Maple Grove end, turned around quickly by Kieran. Stopped up by Matt. No, sorry, Max. Max. Max, Matt. I see I get him <laughs> screwed up all the time. Just going to carry over till Friday. Yep. <laughs> I'm not going to guarantee it, but I'm going to do my best not to call Matt Max. Oh, well, we'll both do that. We'll keep each other in check. Or at least attempt to. Door hold stopping it up. Poking it to the far side. Matt runs onto it. Bumped off it there by... But then able to come up with the steal. Matt Mueller playing it back out front, gets it back. Max has it. Turnaround shot didn't get through. Simmons Mensa can't clear. Matt trying to center to catch there to break it up for the Cardinals. Callisti gets it back near midfield and then sent all the way back down to LePage off the foot of Jack Gleckler. Yeah, it just it clears, the, clears the ball down and continues to get that clock to move. Achi trying to get around Weigel. We'll play it back for Liram instead. Liram tracked by Barber, spins back to the near side. Weigel deflect that pass. Gleckler has it now for Maple Grove, and we'll move it along. Mactimus. Able to make a move and find some space. Carry into the Cardinals zone with speed. A lot of white defenders coming back. Kalisti there along with Brandon Dinsmore who plays it out of bounds. Under a minute. Dorholt just used his speed to get to that ball. Good, ch good chance, but that one went up and over. Goal kick coming up for Andrew LePage. Into the final 10, and this one will not go down as one of the Cardinals' better performances. No, no, absolutely. This season, and uh, again, they, you know, just you always look for the positives you can take away. Not a lot for the Cardinals to look at and say we did this well here tonight. No, it's pre it's pretty much back to the drawing board and figuring out what they can do to to uh, do a better job of certainly playing better offensively and uh, and getting a good opportunity to get to the ball quicker than your opponent. Take a short break. Be back uh, to wrap things up after this. You're watching High School Soccer on CTN.
Maple Grove victorious, able to really put it away in the second half. A couple more goals. The first one comes with the Mueller connection. Mueller to Mueller. That's right. Matt out front to Max to put it away. That made it three to nothing. And the Cardinals just didn't get a lot of pressure in and you know, he got down there and this one ended up being offside. But uh, then late in the contest, it was Cameron Barber firing it home for the four nothing win. Yeah, all Maple Grove in this game. Look at the, the shots here. 15 shots attempted, nine on goal. Four of them hit the back of the neck, the net. The Cardinals uh, offensively, they were they were challenged in that first and second half, and, and they have to figure out what they want to do going forward, or what they can do going forward. Well, they've only got one regular season contest remaining. That's coming up on Thursday, and then uh, hope they can get the offense going a little bit more once they get into section play. But that is going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score from Coon Rapids. It's Maple Grove 4, Coon Rapids 0. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us. Continue to support everything we do here at CTN. For the entire crew, including Howard Shapiro, I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.